Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am so excited. I am going to be creating basically my dream Natasha Denona palette. So if you are interested in seeing the palette that I create and as well as the look that I'm wearing today using the palette that I created, then just keep watching. Today's video is exciting because it is in collaboration with Hey It's Jacqueline here on YouTube. She is a luxury beauty channel and she definitely is a hard worker. If you are interested in what's new in luxury, she always is like one of the first people to have it, one of the first people to get her review up. She is on it. She is a great resource for luxury makeup. I know a lot of you guys are into looks just like I am. She is so sweet. She is so funny. Her production is such great quality and she has very fun, unique ideas on her channel as well. So make sure you guys go subscribe to her channel. It was her idea to do this video. She actually already has one of these types of videos up. She and Alicia created their own Pat McGrath palette. So I was so on board to create my own Natasha Denona palette. I might do a Pat McGrath one. We'll see if I can convince my boyfriend to Photoshop for me again. But anyways, I will be linking Jacqueline's channel down below. So make sure you go subscribe to it and also a link to her video to see the palette that she creates. I'm very interested in seeing it because I feel like we both have very different makeup tastes as far as colors go. And you know what? Natasha Denona has so many different colors and shadows and palettes to choose from. I feel like it's going to be so different. So basically to create my own palettes, you'll see in a few moments, I laid out all of the palettes that I own. I tried to keep it strictly to just palettes because it got overwhelming with like my little five panners. So I just had the palettes laid out and I had an idea to begin with that you will hear about. And for the most part, I stuck to it. It was actually so much easier than I thought it would be just because I did have a vision and I went with it and I knew what I wanted and I knew what I love from Natasha Denona already. The palette I created is using nine different palettes from her. I didn't want to get like three or four shades from the same palette. I wanted to make Picture. I took a little bit from everywhere. My palette mostly is for cooler tone lovers, but there is a warm section in the palette as well that you will see. But anyways, join on in this journey with me of creating my own Natasha Denona palette. All right, guys. So here is what we are looking at. I've laid out all of my Natasha Denona palettes. I decided to forego any five pans and the minis just to leave me not feeling overwhelmed because I already am. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, you can't take out the colors in some of the palettes and honestly I don't want to fight with them I don't want to misplace any of the shadows break them and put them in the wrong spot things like that so I'm gonna see what I can do to give you guys the best experience I'm gonna ask my boyfriend to photoshop for me basically is what I'm saying but yeah we're gonna develop this palette current moment thinking everything behind me is a mess because I rearranged everything so I could put all these palettes on my desk but I definitely if I'm thinking of creating like my dream Natasha Denona palettes I want it to be girly I want it to be purple I want it to be shimmery shiny obviously we'll discover if that's what I stay with throughout this experience but right now I'm thinking of just making the ultimate Morgan Turner palette rather than Natasha Denona so uh, let's get to it Colors are picked out. I'm going to go through palette by palette the colors that I want. From my Tropic palette, I'm going to take two colors that I want. So I really love Vintage Taupe. I think this is a great transition color. And then I really love Xena because you guys know me and my lavenders. Continuing with my mattes, we're going to dig into the Safari palette. From Safari, I want three colors. I want Malia because I want this to be a highlight color under the brow bone color. I want Lotus because I I think this is a absolutely gorgeous crease color to kind of pink up a look. And then I want Voodoo because this is a brown, almost black, that's going to define the eye without being fully black and really matching with those purples. From the Love palette, I want Trust because I really wanted a dark eggplant color. That's the only color that I'm digging from this palette. 
from my star palette, I actually want both of these colors because this color is a brighter purple and I think it's going to fit well with a, some different purple looks that I'd want to do. And then I like this color because it's a little bit more warm, but it pairs very well with purpley colors. So you know what? Even though I like cool tones, I like the option of having warm. So I wanted to add that in. And then I also wanted to add in a warm shimmer that would go well with this shade. So going into shimmers, I like this peachy shade and I think it'll go with the other colors also. I was looking for a inner corner color or just typical champagne. So I chose Shine from the Biba palette. So that color is right here. From the Lila palette, I really liked this gray shade because I feel like it was really great just to pair with purple looks. I knew I wanted a silver shade and the best silver in the world is from the 28 Green Brown palette. I just feel like purple and silver are a match made in heaven. I took two shimmers from the purple blue palette. She does have other purple palettes, but I wanted to curate my purple palette. But I like this pinky gold shade right here. It's perfect. And then right below, this is another kind of light champagne lid color with more of a cooler base. I did want to have some options between cool and warm. And then finally, again, playing with cooler, warmer tones for purples, I wanted a gold as well. So this is the, the top. Tasha Denona Gold Palette, and that one will be right there. So here is a better view at my palette that I created right here. So I went back and I re-swatched kind of how I would lay the palette out. So I wanted to keep it in kind of like a gradient. So I wanted it to be light, deep, and then I also wanted this side here to be more cool toned and then this side here to be more warm toned. So I know I look crazy but I convinced my boyfriend to photoshop all of the colors together in a palette for me and here is what the palette looks like. It is so beautiful. The names on there are the safari palette names. My boyfriend changed the colors for me. He individually placed the individual shades in their spots that I wanted them and he didn't change the names. I wasn't going to ask him after spending all that time so I wish I could have changed names but that's okay. This is my palette. The only thing I want to say is since the individual shades are from different pictures they show up differently all in one than they would if I were to actually put the colors together. Especially that bottom row I feel like it looks very different than what it would in person just because the highlights and shadows are different depending on the photo so some are showing up darker than they actually are compared to other photos but you can get the basic visual. I'm very visual about the layouts of my palettes. I really like it when it goes from like to dark and it's organized in just ways that make sense so for me what made sense was going from light to dark and then I kept the left side of the palette all of the cooler toned colors and then the right side of the palette are a little bit more warm if I wanted to play with more warm shades and I did it that way and I'm very very happy with how it turned out so uh, thank you to my boyfriend for creating that and making my vision come to life so now as you can see I've created a look already using my palette so we are going to zoom in in and recreate the other side. So my eyes are primed. We're gonna start off with that top left color, Malia, and I put this in my palette so that I could set my brow bone and slightly highlight that area. I needed some type of bone colored shade that I could put underneath my eyebrow. That's why I chose that color. The next one that we are going into is the fourth one on the top row. This one is Vintage Taupe. I chose this one because it is the perfect transition shade for any type of warm tone or cool tone look particularly very good with the cool tones but look how pretty of a transition color this is absolutely stunning so I did want to kind of add a little bit more pink into that so I then went in with Lotus which is the third shade in the palette and I'm going to just use that to kind of give it more of a baby pink element. This definitely has a cooler tone to it, which I really enjoy. Just going to create some dimension within the shade. The next color that I am going into is Electra, And Electra is the middle shade of the bottom row. And I have to say this one pulls very, very different on this photo than it does in real life. It's much more of a magenta purple kind of shade, as you can see. So, so that one definitely does not look like how it looks in person. So this shade I'm going to work into the outer half of my lid. I'm going to blend it inwards. 
Still kind of keeping it on the outer half though and kind of creating a little bit of a shape. And then I'm also going to put this on my lower lash line, keeping it on the outer half. Now I knew I would not be satisfied without doing a look with kind of the start of the show, the center of the show, that is the shade Xena right in the very center, that lavender shade. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to use it on the inner half of my crease. And then I'm also going to put that on the inner half of my lower lash line. Now let's play with the shimmers. So the first shade that I'm going for for the outer half of my lid is called Golden Rose. It's that second shade in the second row. It has a very, very strong golden shift to it. And I think it's really pretty over that first magenta shade that we put underneath it. And I'm going to apply this to the outer half of the lid. And what's awesome about this shade is it has a very strong gold tint to it, which I think subtly warms the look up as well. And then I really want to focus that also on the center of the lid. That's the color I want to pop. And then the next color that we are going into is the second shade on the first row. It is called Piggy and it's a very light pink, almost a champagne. And that's going to go on the inner corner of my eyelid. And I love the way that this blends into the lavender shade. And I'm going to take a little bit of the lavender shade on a brush. I'm going to kind of blend the lavender just into the crease to diffuse our shimmer shades. Now I decided that I did want a little bit of a more cool toned purple in the outer corner as well just to add some depth. So I'm taking the shade Trust which is the second shade in the bottom row and it's just a very simple cool toned kind of purple color and I'm going to pat this in the outer corner and then I'm also going to put that right on top that outer half shade that I used. And this is also going to make that center of the lid shade really really pop. And finally I'm taking the shade Shine which is the last shade in the first row and I'm going to use that in my inner corner just for a little bit of a highlight shade. And boom, here is the look that I created with the palette that I curated. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'll be back to show you the final look. All right, you guys, as you can see, I definitely went dramatic with my lash choice. I love this look. I really enjoy the colors that I put together to create this palette. And definitely just looking at it, you know, if it were real in my hand, I could come up with a lot of looks. So this was such a fun video to do. Thank you, Jacqueline, for reaching out and being the reason that I did this video today. It was really fun. It was really different. It was really inspiring for me. I really enjoyed it. So make sure you guys go check out Jacqueline's video to see the palette that she created and the look that she created with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it fun just like I did. Let me know what you think of the palette that I curated. Would it be something that you would be interested in purchasing? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.